What's up everyone, Justin with G2 Apple here, and today I've got the review of the best skins ever skin for the iPod Touch 5th generation. So let's just start up by saying that this is the best way to protect your device if you're hoping to retain the original style and form factor, but at the same time offer some scratch protection on your new device. So I can imagine if you first saw this video, you may have been wondering what exactly is he reviewing? It looks just like a naked iPod Touch 5th generation with nothing on it. But to be honest, there is a skin on this. This is actually a very nicely cut out skin and it does offer you a really nice level of scratch protection. It does have its self healing technologies and it is very nicely cut out and lined up to cover all of your device. It also gives it kind of like a glossy feel, which in my opinion, I really like. It makes the back look very shiny on the iPod Touch 5th generation. And as you can see, all the little details or the sides of this device are very nicely cut out. It's very hard for Best Skins ever to accomplish this, especially because it came out so quickly after the iPod Touch 5th generation was available. So taking a look at the side, you can see that this iPod Touch 5th generation is very, very thin, but yet Best Skins ever was still able to accomplish the fact that they made it go right up to the edge of the iPod Touch 5th generation, giving you maximum coverage of your device. On the top, you can also see the camera cutout is also very nicely cut out. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a closer look of that. So you could see that all the very corners are nicely covered. In the beginning, it was kind of hard to install because of the fact that there are a lot of sides and turns. But my advice to you guys would be to wet the back as much as you can so you're able to slide the device around. And once you line it up with major points, just squeeze out the water first. And if the edges don't form, just wait about half an hour to an hour to let the water dry. Then you can form the edges and there you've got a perfect insulation. Another thing I love about Best Skins Ever Skins compared to its competitors is because of the fact that it does offer no loss in quality of the beautiful retina display on the iPod Touch 5th generation. A lot of other skins I've tried did have kind of like a rainbow effect, a really grainy effect that was very noticeable. I was very surprised that this didn't have it. In the beginning I may have been a little bit skeptical to apply this on my new device because of the fact that I didn't want to lose any quality but I have to say the screen is just as responsive but the fact that it offers a really nice self healing technology against sharp objects and scratches makes this probably my favorite skin on the market. And this was after testing out skins like Rapsol, Zeg's Invisible Shield, Bodyguards and everything and I have to say this is by far my favorite skin as it fixes all the problems that I've had on other skins. I have also used this with a case and it works just fine as best skins ever seems to have probably the thinnest skin um, that I've ever tried but at the same time it gave me about the average level of protection that I did see on other devices. Here you could once again see the amount of precision best skins ever took this to. All the cutouts once again are very nicely cut out. I can't really stress this enough of how well this is cut out. I'm actually really amazed and I love just looking at how well this was done. So once again, thanks to the folks over at Best Skins Ever for sending this out for reviewing purposes. I have to say that this is probably the best skin on the market thanks to the fact that it is probably the cheapest on the market. But I have to say, in terms of the features and functionality without price in mind, this is, in my opinion, the best skin you can get. It is available for pretty much any device you can think of, whether it's the iPhone 5, iPad mini, iPod Touch 5th generation, as you can see here. So stay tuned. I will be doing a review on one for the iPad mini as well. I'll see you guys in my next video.